Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a pretty big, uh, very affordable Middle Eastern fragrance haul to share with you. I'm working on a dupes video and which is taking me a long time to get it together but hopefully it'll be worth it. But I was told that there was a Latafa fragrance out there that smelled a lot like by the fireplace and yeah, so I ordered, I wanted to order that fragrance. Well, anytime I go onto a fragrance website, I start just looking at everything. I did pick all of this up from a website called Triple Traders. They carry like Al Rahab oils and Latafa and just a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances and they're very, very affordable. So I have had a great experience with them too from ordering and I paid for all of this with my own money. I, I ordered as a customer just like anybody else. Um, so this is definitely not, I am not affiliated in any way. I just wanna tell you like that I had a really great experience. It was super easy. The, I love how the website is laid out. Um, they offer a ton of fragrances. They are incredibly affordable and they shipped super fast from, it was less than a week from the time I ordered until I got my order. So um, yeah, I had a really good experience. Um, but anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna jump right in. I've got a ton of fragrances here, you can see. And yeah, I'm super excited. So I'm gonna start out with some Al Rahab oils. Um, I got some winners this time. So the first one that I picked up is this one here called White Musk. And I'm just, I've been like so crazy about clean, about clean smelling white musks. The Lake and Sky 1111 and then the Astero smells like Astero mixed with my, uh, with the Kayali Musk fragrance as well as the, um, Derek Lamb, Silent Street, like they've all made me obsessed with musk fragrances. So because of that, I wanted to pick up the Al Rahab White Musk fragrance just to see what it was like. Um, I will tell you, these Al Rahab fragrances, they are very, very inexpensive and you know, they, they smell amazing. Like I feel like for as inexpensive as they are, that they smell really nice. They get like if you read on Fragrantica though, a lot of people are just really harsh on them. And it's like, dude, they're less than $3. How harsh could you possibly be? I don't know. But then you get some reviews where people are just like amazed and they think they smell so much more expensive than they are and they do. So this one, this one is funny. It doesn't smell like white musk at all to me. It does smell... It does smell vaguely of white musk, but I get like a, I get a touch of sweetness as well as almost like a vanilla, almost like a creaminess and maybe a touch of like powder. I don't know. It doesn't smell like white musk to me at all, but I love that about it. It's very unique. Um, it's a very unique, clean scent and it doesn't smell like laundry detergent either. I don't know. I just am really, really enjoying this one. I am very glad that I picked this one up. It's really, really pretty. It doesn't, like if you order it, don't expect it to smell <laughs> like a traditional white mask. It definitely doesn't. Oh my gosh, but it's beautiful. I'm really digging it. It's kind of like a slightly sweet, I don't know. I wouldn't even, I don't know. It's, I, re, I enjoy it. It's really hard for me to explain. I will of course have all the notes on the screen for you, but it just is hard for me to explain because it doesn't smell like white musk. But it still does smell sweet and clean and I just really like it. So anyways, that one is white musk. I need to quit going on. Okay, this next one is my favorite, is the favorite of the three Al Rahab Hoyle oils oils that I ordered. This one is called Al Rahab White Horse and this one is amazing. Oh, it is so good. Oh, and do I have a dupe in this bundle? Oh my gosh. Like it's crazy. There's one of these that as soon as I sprayed it, I was like, "Oh my gosh, that smells exactly like such and such." 
And yeah, I have a mini of the real one, so I'm excited about it. Okay, back to White Horse, I'm sorry. I've been really like too wordy today. Um, oh gosh, I love this. This is sweet and clean and citrusy and soft and just beautiful. Mine is leaking like no other. Like, I don't know what happened, so I need to make sure I keep it standing upright, but this is another one that I don't, I couldn't tell you what it smells like. It's very slightly powdery, it's sweet, it's got vanilla in the base, I believe. It's citrusy, but it's light. And it's beautiful, and it's slightly creamy. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love this one so much. I knew as soon as I smelled this, I was like, oh gosh, that's for me. It's so good. So anyways, that one is called White Horse. That one is amazing, in my opinion. I love it. And it's leaking all over the place. It does, it does kind of remind me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh, it's so good though. And then the last one I picked up is this one here called Sabaya. And this is a beautiful soapy, clean, green rose. Oh, it is so good. It's sweet. I love this. Like you could throw this in a Montel bottle and I would not know the difference. This is one that people are really hard on too. They think it smells super cheap and I don't think it smells cheap at all. It's sweet and clean fresh rose and then when it starts to dry down on your skin this green this greenness comes out it's really really fragrant it's yeah it's strong it's a strong oil it's beautiful i feel like under layered under some rose fragrances i am going to love this I just love layering perfume over oil. I just feel like, I don't know, it just really adds something. So anyways, that one is Sabaya. Beautiful, sweet, clean, soapy rose. Okay, let's get into the full bottles. So the first one that I picked up is this one here. So this is a house called Ard Al... Zafiran Trading. So this is the only one that doesn't, that isn't on Fragrantica. They do have the notes on the Triple Traders website though, so I'll definitely have everything on the screen for you as always. But yeah, this one, these are very, very inexpensive fragrances. They're like, I don't know, between six and eight dollars and they're 1.7 ounce bottles. Um, this one is called Wash Washa. I think that's how you say that, wash washa. Um, you can see it like right underneath the, there you go. Um, but yeah, they, the, they come in bottles very similar to the Al Rahab bottles. Um, so I'm wondering if this isn't like Al Rahab, but just in it under a different name. Um, this was my least favorite one. It smells like something to me. I can't, again, I can't put my finger on it. It's so, it's like right on the tip of my nose. <laughs> um, it's so familiar. I just cannot think, but it's sweet. This one has a lot. It's got, it's very, um, you get a big blast of alcohol at the beginning. It takes a while for that alcohol smell to burn off. I think this was the only one that I really didn't care for that much. But yeah, this is sweet. It's like sweet, kind of fruity. It's pretty light. It's not like a powerhouse or anything. It's not super strong. But it is sweet and light and... It smells like something. I just can't think of it. It's funny because usually these, like, usually fragrances that are a dupe of something, and I'm quite sure this is a dupe of something, they're dupes of, like, really big fragrances or really popular fragrances, 
And it's funny because I usually don't know because I don't wear, a, I do wear some of the very popular fragrances, but not like a lot. So, so it's like I can't pinpoint it, but it smells like something. It's light, fruity, floral. I don't know. I'll have to see if I can figure out what this smells like and I'll have it on the screen, but. This is my least favorite one. I did not love this fragrance at all. Um, yeah, it's okay. So anyways, that one is called Wash Washa. Okay, this next one is called Harim Al Sultan, and this is a good one. I love the color of the liquid on this one. So this one is apple and rose and chocolate and vanilla. This one really does smell like a Montel fragrance. This smells like This smells like this right here. Where this is Montel Rose's musk, and that's kind of what this smells like. It also really, really reminded me of that Al Haramain fragrance. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up. It's in the white bottle. It also smells a lot like um, Janoon Rose from Al Hermain, which I used to have that a while, like a long time ago. I resold it, but it smells like both of the, those fragrances. It's definitely not as like, it definitely doesn't have the quality that Montel has. It definitely isn't as complex. Um, but for like a $6 perfume, if you want something that smells like Rose's Musk from Montel, it's beautiful, or Rose's Vigny. It's a really, really good alternative, um, for sure. I'm not gonna be keeping it in my clip. Whoa, my labels, that's funny. I just noticed the label is completely crooked. But I'm not gonna be keeping this in my collection just because I've got Rose's, I've got um, like, I don't need another perfume that smells like this, but oh my gosh, for a really inexpensive fragrance, it's it's actually a really good one. This will definitely be coming up in my dupes video because it's actually quite good. So anyways, that one is called Harim Al Sultan. Okay, the next one we have is called Oud 24 Hours. And as soon as I sprayed this, as soon as I sprayed this, I knew exactly what it smelled like and um, it's funny because it's a fragrance that I don't I'm I don't love um, But I can appreciate it and it's a very very expensive fragrance and this definitely is <laughs> Wow so similar So this smells almost exactly like black orchid from Tom Ford It's it's crazy how much it smells like it. I mean, I'm definitely going to test it side by side. I do have a mini of Black Orchid, so I'm going to test it side by side with this. So I can tell you guys like just how close it is. But if it, it was close enough that I recognized it immediately. And I'm one of those people that I don't, if something is just the slightest bit off, I will not make a connection as to what it smells like. Um, some people can say, oh, it vaguely smells like this or that, and I'm, I can't, like my brain just doesn't work like that. But when I sprayed this one, I was immediately like, holy cow, that smells like black orchid. Um, it's definite, again, like with all of them, this is like a six or eight dollar perfume. It's very inexpensive, so you're definitely not getting the high quality materials that you would find in Black Orchid. But, and this is not quite as complex. I mean, yeah, this is definitely not as complex as Black Orchid, but it's so, so similar. I mean, it smells just like it. This is another one that I won't be hanging on to just because I'm not a fan of Black Orchid, but it's a really good, um, it's a really good alternative. I'll definitely test it next to the real thing so I can tell you just like how much like it it is. But yeah, that one is called Oud 24 Hours and 
that one you'll definitely see coming up in the dupes video. Okay, next, this one, I don't know what this, this one is actually called. Okay, this one is called Shams Al Emirat Kususi. Um, I'll let you see that so you can <laughs> read it yourself since I'm horrible. If I can get the glare off of it for you. That's probably the best I can get it. So yeah, this one is really, really beautiful. Yeah, this one, um, this one is very, very unisex. I definitely feel like this one doesn't lean too much one way or the other. Maybe just a touch more masculine than feminine. But this is beautiful. This is sweet. It's vanilla and rose and oud. It's got a ton of notes in it. But it's a really beautiful floral. It's got a little bit of a spiced note or a, like a little bit of a spiced quality. It's really, really pretty. In fact, I'm going to try this one on my skin. Now, the thing with these is they're inexpensive fragrances. You're going to get a big blast of alcohol and it hangs around for a while. So I'm going to just need to let this kind of do its thing. This smells just like something else too. Um, on Fragrantica, people say it smells like Duetto from Suspiro, which I don't know, I've never smelled that. They also say it smells like Killer Queen from Katy Perry. Um, I had Killer Queen many, many years ago, and admittedly, I don't remember exactly what it smells like anymore, but I don't remember it smelling like this. Um, I don't remember feeling like Killer Queen leaned masculine at all. I feel like it was very, you know, it was a very feminine fragrance. Um, this reminds me of something though. It's really, really pretty. This is probably, besides the one that we're going to talk about next, this was, or this was my favorite of the four of these that I ordered. It's really, really nice. It smells like something. I don't know, there's like a bunch of fragrances on there that people say it smells like, but it doesn't smell like any of them to me, so. But it does smell like something, but this has a really beautiful sweetness. And once it starts to dry down, that sweetness really, really starts to pop. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got a lot of vanilla in it, but it's got something also um, kind of, well, yeah, like a spiced floral. It's really pretty. I really do enjoy this one. Um, so anyways, that one is called Shams Al Emirate Kusis, Kusasi. I wish I could pinpoint what it smells like. I'm quite sure they're all dupes of something. I just, I don't know what, I can't. It does, as it dries down, it does start to lean much more masculine as well, but it also really, really sweetens up. I don't know, this one gets pretty good reviews on Fragrantica as well for being such an inexpensive fragrance. So anyways, yeah, there's that one. And then last but not least is the fragrance that inspired this entire purchase. This is Amir Al Oud Intense from Latafa. This is a serious bottle. It is so heavy and it is an incredibly heavy bottle. The lid is very, very heavy. It's just really, really nice, thick glass. It feels really good in your hand. Like, yeah, it's just a really, really nice bottle. So this is supposed to smell like, or I had people tell me that this smells like By the Fireplace from Replica. And I really, really wanted to get my nose on it. This is beautiful. This is vanilla and oud and sugar. The only, and I do think it smells like by the fireplace. The only difference with this one is it doesn't have, it doesn't have that slight smokiness that by the fireplace has. And this one is much sweeter. So this is like a sweeter, maybe there's a touch of the smokiness, but this one is much sweeter. So this is like the sweeter, 
I don't know. This is a sweeter version of By the Fireplace. I would say that to my nose, this smells like a cross between By the Fireplace and Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Um, yeah, I think if you mixed By the Fireplace and Club Black, this is what you would get. It's very, I don't know, it shares similarities with both of them. This one is really, really nice. This was by far my favorite thing that I ordered. And it's beautiful. I'm not going to be able to wear this again until it starts to get cold out. Or maybe I will. Maybe I'll wear it at night or something um, to bed. But yeah. A lot of people say that it smells like Rogba. Um, let me go ahead and pull out my Rogba here and let's see. No, I don't think it does. It's a little bit similar in the sweetness, but no, Rogba is totally different. Totally different. Um, Amir Al Oud has is much woodier. Ragba has a lot more vanilla in it. It's sweeter, it's softer. Amir Al Oud is much more oud forward. The only thing I feel like they share is the sweetness, that sugar note. They both have that sugar note. So you're definitely getting the sweet, the same kind of sweetness. Ugh. I adore them both though. This is such a steal too. I think it's like, it's in the $20 range, $22? No, actually maybe it was 18. Ooh, I don't know. I'll have, I'll put the um, price on the screen for you, but yeah, it's somewhere between 18 and $22 I would say, and it's huge. This is a, this is a 3.4 ounce bottle, so it is a huge bottle and it's beautiful. It's definitely a good alternative to By the Fireplace, especially if you want something a little bit sweeter than By the Fireplace. It's beautiful. I love it. It's su That was such a good call. Whoever um, was the first to recommend this to all of us on my live that night, this is such a this was such an amazing recommendation. I love it so much. So anyways, that is Amir Al Oud from Latafa. It makes me really, really want to try more from Latafa. Um, yeah, I've got the, t you know, I've got two fragrances, but I would love to get my nose on more. I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like I would have good luck with them. But anyways, guys, that is, uh, that is a really, really affordable perfume haul from Triple Traders. I will link everything down below for you. Again, not affiliated in any way. I just, um, I just wanted to share it with you. So yeah, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.